It, it's, he's a very... He seems a different character to the one we saw at, at Manchester United, although these are early stages here. Do you think he had to change? No, I just think, if I'm honest, I think he had a better, he's got a better squad here at Tottenham than he did at Man United. I think there was probably a little bit too much he felt needed to be done. And I feel here, he feels happy because he's got a good young squad, willing, want to win. Uh, so that's why I feel he's a little bit different here. What's your take on that? I, I think uh, um, United was a difficult job at a difficult time uh, for the club. Um, I do think that he spent the six months out of the game reflecting on his manner, I think, at times with the media. Jose Mourinho won everybody over when he came to Chelsea in mid-2000s for his charm. And that's what everybody, you know, the cheekiness, the charm. Yes, of course, there was a competitive element to him at times. He could be cantankerous with interviews and reporters, but that was balanced off by some really good interviews where he came across as someone that you really liked. That seemed to have been lost at Manchester United. There were times where you were watching where it looked to me like a real chore to do interviews. It looked like a real chore to be, you know, he questioned the pundits a lot, he questioned the media a lot. Um, I think ultimately as well being in Manchester and away from his family in London and I know the hotel thing, he puts that down to the fact that he couldn't cook. But still, from a PR point of view, it wasn't a clever move. Whether it was down to, you know, realistically, it doesn't really matter where you stay if you're winning football matches, that's the reality. But if things are going wrong, people are going to point towards little things like this. So I think from a PR point of view and how he PR'd himself, I think he knew that he needed to get back to that sort of that charm offensive and that figure that have looked like he, like he loved football and passionate about football again. I think that six months out, he's used that. So I think at United, yeah, there were problems for him there, football-wise, but also from, I think, his own point of view. Maybe even style as well, this part of the bus thing that I think has ultimately Jose has uh, been tagged with becomes, I think, also a problem for him. I think he also wants to get rid of that. Maybe it's unfair as well, because he's obviously had teams that have always scored goals. He cuts a very relaxed figure, doesn't he, at the moment? He certainly was on, on Friday. So how long does that last, do you think? Until the first time, you know, you have a few bad results back to back. And then, you know, you... my experience in management, when it's going well, there's two, there's two of you. When it's going well, you're the open book, you're everyone's friend, you'll do interviews, you'll speak to anyone that wants to speak to you, you're accommodating. And then when you have a, when you have a bad run, you know, you feel as if the walls are closing and everyone becomes the enemy, mm. you become secretive. Um, and, and I don't think anybody, anyone who's managed is any different to that.